What it is, YouTube? It's your boy QB. I just picked up the Impeza. I, I don't know how you say that. But Impeza. Uh, what's this? The 9083 wireless controller for your phone to play PUBG. Steam is nice. I bought it on um, AliExpress for like 30 bucks. I mean, you can play any game. I played, um, I tried, you know, just picked up and played it. I'll show you some games, what I played with it, and I'm going to do the video for it. But, I mean, you know, this thing is really nice. Like, here you go, the controller. It says he works on iOS. Let's see that. Focus that. All right, Android, iOS, Windows 7, and the Nintendo Switch. It has an easy mode. It stretches. Is it the biggest your tablet, uh, phone, or whatever, whatever size you need to? It stretches. As you see, I got PUBG running on my phone right now because I know most people are going to play this for PUBG. I mean, use this for PUBG. I can't get it a good focus right now. There you go. There's PUBG on my phone. I can show you just a little bit. I, uh, let's see if I can get this going real quick. You know, it took me some time to set this up. So the camera might be a little dark because the way my camera is. Let's see if I can lighten it up. All right, here we go. You just can't see me play. So what it is, here's the buttons. You got, let's see, let's focus that. Y, B, A, X. Just like uh, Xbox. And you got your right stick, your left stick. You got left trigger, right trigger, and the bumpers. I mean, or you can say L1, L2, R1, R2, just like PlayStation. You got to select, and you have a start button. And then they have four different LEDs for settings, different controller settings. There's this is for Android. I think this is for Android for like using like as a mouse and keyboard type deal. This is for iOS and this is for Nintendo Switch. So, and these are the little settings. I use the Octopus app. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. This is the Octopus app I use for my buttons. Go ahead and clear that out. I don't know how that. Here we go. And you can see them right there. The buttons I have to do. I'm just gonna show you just a little bit. And you, you hold the home button three times, I mean three seconds. It's gonna cut it on and pair with the phone through Bluetooth. Should have stopped blinking. Oh, actually, I probably gotta connect it. So it's right there, PG9083. That PG9083, connect it. It stopped blinking, done. And I'm gonna show you guys the game real quick. Just to, I'm just gonna show you in the lobby. But you see I'm playing it, I'm a, uh, for the screen screen purposes start up a one sorry for the i mean i have good lighting but see you can't see the screen as well so but you can see i'm moving around i got this camera going i can punch so i haven't got all the buttons correct yet so you know when i get all the buttons correct i'll be able to get be able to play good but i got you know jump i don't have the uh bend down yet i think i got reload right just chain you know testing it out for some buttons and then so that's for that that's PUBG then also it works for emulators I'm gonna show you emulator real quick Tekken 3 it works it should find it see there it is game pad detected pad 1 there's no buttons on there's no buttons on here anymore so there you go just like you're playing the PlayStation 1 from back in the day, 1997. So I'll press start, look. Tekken, just like Tekken. It already has everything set up for you. You can go in and change settings if you want. If you can hear my daughter, she's there. See, using this, I'm using the D-pad. Press A, arcade mode. You brighten it up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna play as Law, cause that's my boy. See, and I can use the D-pad as fight. I can use the D-pad here. I can use the D-pad and the uh, the uh, the right, the left stick. I suck right now because I'm trying to view this on the camera. Let's see, I'm gonna do this right now. Here we go. Yeah, I me. Mean, it's responsive. The thing is so responsive. Get out of there, dog. It is very responsive. So I'm gonna show you with the stick this time. Press start to skip. See? 
banged on them real quick. All right, and that's Tekken. So now, just showing y'all some Tekken. I'm gonna be playing all kinds of games. We got Tekken and also Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is the game that most people would love to play. San Andreas Vice City. Rockstar did an excellent job, so the controller settings are the end. The sign in always failed for me, so I can never log in. But it detects the controller right away. Right away. Show you. Show you on the camera. Look. Look at that. Resume, because I already got a game in. Legendary San Andreas, one of the best GTAs, or the best GTAs of all time in the series. But here I go. Hey, you boy CJ. See, it's still bright. The camera is bright like crazy. So, I'm going to show you with the dark mode. Moving with the left stick. Moving my camera with the right stick. I can jump. Everything is set just like PlayStation. A is the uh, tap A to run fast. X to jump. B is the punch. Then you aim with the. Uh, what was it? What, how you aim? Uh, left stick? I mean, R, R, L1? There you go. R, R1. You can talk to him. You know, you about to see me go ahead and I will both fight him. I ain't got no gun. Hold on, brother. We ain't asked for all that. Oh, oh he's shooting. Uh uh. Ah! I did. He killed me, man. I ain't had no gun. Call me Carl Johnson. CJ, baby. So, you know, that's just a quick review how to do the buttons. Like I said, you go to Octopus. Octopus very, you know, just change the buttons and everything. And I ain't gonna promote that, but I ain't gonna promote it. But it's the fact that you just all you gotta do is go to the um, Octopus app, set up the buttons and everything, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you like this video, you know, hit the subscribe button if you want more unboxes from me and more controller reviews. I want to do some more of these. You know, I just gotta buy some more. But this is a great controller because I, you know, I can use this. I'm gonna stretch it out open for you guys show you how you can use it so this is the basic stretch to the iPhones and stuff and you can stretch it out as far as you can look at that you can go the biggest tablet you can go I probably can put my Surface Pro 3 in this and you can lock it down once you get it in the spot you lock it down and just retracts so then it doesn't move anywhere so that's great and then it cuts off by itself has a self uh, auto off and that's that's it like I said if you like this review man hit that like button you want to see some more videos from me Hit that subscribe button. It's your boy QB. I'm out. Two's up. Peace.